Hello YouTube, welcome or welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name's Tina and I make videos on lifestyle, home decor, and DIY projects every single week. And today's video is a really fun one because it's one that I have been planning for quite a while now and I just needed to make sure that my projects were gonna work out. So I'm happy to report that my crazy idea actually worked for one of the projects and I'm so happy with how it came out. So I hope that you guys really like this one. A majority of the supplies for these projects can be found at Dollar Tree, which is really awesome. So these projects are really inexpensive to create and I really think that all my plant moms and dads are going to love these projects. Also as a quick disclaimer, I did burn my finger doing one of these projects so you will see me with a band-aid on and it still kind of hurts but this is a warning to you guys that if you're working with hot glue please be careful watch what you're doing and yeah don't be clumsy like me all right without further ado let's get into the first project hello from voiceover Tina so this first project is one that I didn't even know if it would work out or not but I made it come to life and I'm really excited to show you guys how I did it Essentially, I'm using all Dollar Tree items, which is pretty awesome. So first, we're going to start off by using these two pizza pans and spray painting them gold. I gave them each two coats to make sure that it had great coverage. After letting it dry, I'm going to use a hula skirt from Dollar Tree and just cutting off three of the pieces of the faux raffia groups to create my first cluster of fringe. I'm going to cut this in half and then I'm going to fold that into half to create my fringe. I'm going to pinch the top of it and then just hot glue it down onto the edge of the pan, making sure that each piece is glued down and holding it down until it cools off. Then I'm going to repeat this process around the whole entire pan, making sure to give it the same amount of spacing and length of fringe with each piece. Next, you'll need to glue down the second pan on top. And here I'm using the Gorilla Hot Glue Sticks as well as Super Glue from the Dollar Tree. And I really made sure that I pressed firmly so that it would be a strong bond between the two. This next part is optional, but I really think that it ties it all together. So I'm just going to take six strands from the hula skirt and knot it all together. Then separating it into three groups of two, I'm going to braid this all the way down. Next, I'm going to glue this to the perimeter of the pan with a small bead of glue around the whole entire thing. And then I took the second braid I made and glued it into the inner portion of the rim. And when I got to the ends, I tried my best to conceal them together, and I think it looks pretty seamless. And now it's time to work on the containers. So after searching around the entire store, I finally found these travel bottles, and I thought they were perfect for this project. You will need to remove the caps of it and only use the bottle part. I also found these small magnets from the craft section of Dollar Tree and I'm gluing them to the back of each one of the bottles with the Gorilla Hot Glue. And as I'm doing this, I'm making sure that I keep it as centered as possible and holding it down to let it cool off before moving on to the other bottles. And now you'll see that I'm just playing around with the placement of the bottles until I was happy with it. And you can always add more or less bottles to this project depending on how big it is, but I ended up with five. Once I was happy with it, I removed the bottles with the magnet attached to it and left the other one on the tray. This is to make sure that I have the magnets exactly where I want them. So all I'm going to do is to glue these down with a bottle of Dollar Tree hot glue and make sure that you add just a tiny dot of this so that it doesn't spill outside of the magnet. To hang this piece, I took an old Dollar Tree frame and I took the two picture hangers on the back from it, which was pretty easy to do. I then taped a straight line on the back of the pan just to make sure everything was even and leveled. And to adhere them, I glued them to the back with the Gorilla hot glue and now it's ready to be hung. To complete the look, all I needed to do was to add my plant and some water, and now I have a super cute propagation station. I cannot believe that I took this idea from my brain and actually made it happen. This looks so much more high-end than it is, and it literally cost me only five bucks to make. I absolutely love the way this turned out, and I hope that you guys do too. For the second project, I got a plant pot from Dollar Tree, and although it is fine the way that it is, I think that we can totally elevate it with a little makeover. I always see these little wooden reeds at Dollar Tree, so I picked them up and knew that I had to use them for this project. The first thing I'm going to do is to unravel each piece within the wreath, trying my hardest not to break it. The trick here is just to go slow and to make sure that you don't bend it too hard. Once I have it all separated, I'm going to submerge it into some warm water. And I actually was experimenting with this and I figured out that if you soaked it, you can actually bend the sticks into whatever shape you want it to be. So this is a super awesome hack if you're looking to work with these wreaths in the future for another project. 
After the wood has softened a little bit, I'm going to straighten them out as best as I can. And this was actually really easy to do. Then before it dried completely, I'm going to measure it against my pot to cut it up, making sure that I have enough sticks to go around the whole entire pot. As I'm doing this, I'm making sure to mold the wood against the planter shape. Since this one doesn't go straight up and down, I have to make sure that the bottom is slightly curved. But if you use this technique with a planter that does go straight up and down, this will be super easy for you to do. After the wood is a bit more dry, I'm going to adhere it around the whole entire planter with Gorilla Hot Glue Sticks, and I'm making sure that I hold each one in place to cool off before moving on to the next one. When I got to the end of the pot, it got a little bit more difficult to glue everything on straight, so I had to overlap some of the pieces with the hot glue, but if you use a planter that doesn't curve in like mine, you will have a lot better luck, and I would definitely recommend that. To finish this off, I'm going to add some legs by gluing down three wooden beads, and this was super easy because the planter already had little circles to where I should put them all, so I just added some hot glue and stuck them on. And how cute does this planter look? You could totally make it with any existing planter that you already have, and it'll give it the perfect minimal boho rustic look. So this last project is one that's very similar to a project I just did on my channel, but I really wanted to try out this new technique, so I'm going to show you guys it today. So here we're going to get these two bowls that I found at Dollar Tree, and before I actually bought them, I made sure to put them together at the bottoms to make sure that the bases matched. This took some trial and error, so make sure that you try it out before you buy them. Next, I'm going to paint each one with baking soda paint. You guys have seen me do this multiple times on my channel before, but I can't get enough of the ceramic texture it gives, so that's totally what I'm doing with this pot. And I will spare you all the details on the paint because it's not the main focus of this project, but essentially all you need to do is to mix up your desired color and then add about a 1 to 3 ratio of baking soda to paint and stir it up. I've seen this hack floating around all over Instagram and YouTube now, and it's definitely worth a try if you haven't already. And if you want more info on this trick, I will link a previous video down below where I go into much more detail about this technique. So here you can see that I'm going to give it one initial coat and then let that dry completely before moving on to the second coat. And after you've done two coats, make sure that it will dry all the way before moving on to the next step. Also, you can choose to use spray paint for this part if you want a nice smooth finish. And once they're dry, you can go ahead and glue them together. Here, I'm just using the hot glue Gorilla Sticks again, just to create a nice strong bond between the two. And before moving on to the next step, I'm going to let it dry completely. To give this planter a woven look, I'm using a dark brown raffia that I got from Michaels. So first, I'm going to add some strands going diagonally on the pot and gluing each one down on the top and the bottom. And with each strand, I'm going to make sure that it is evenly spaced out. In between each of the diagonal raffia pieces, I added in more, and this way I was able to make sure that it was evenly spaced all the way around. Next, I'm going to add more diagonal pieces going the other way, and here I'm going to make sure that I space it evenly so that it has a nice balanced look. Next, I'm going to add in some horizontal pieces where each one of the diagonal pieces crisscross, and when you're gluing down each horizontal piece, you want to make sure that you're going in the same area so that there is a backside to the pot. To finish this off, I'm going to conceal the bottom and the top by braiding raffia together and gluing it onto the back side. This is also going to help conceal the seam between the two bowls and it really makes it look like one piece. And I'm making sure that I glue this all within one area so that you can have a back side of the pot. You can choose to braid these pieces or simply just wrap it all the way around. I think it just adds a nice finishing touch and also covers all the hot glue and the seams of the bowls. I am so happy with how this piece came out. I'm obsessed with the modern shape of the planter, and I love this woven raffia look. It definitely is a great statement piece for my plants, and I hope you guys try this project out too. 
So those were all the projects for today's video. Let me know in the comments down below which one was your favorite. My favorite has to be the magnetic propagation station. It is something that I have just dreamed about making and I can't believe it actually worked and all the materials are from Dollar Tree so that's even better. But I will say that if you're planning to make this, maybe buy some stronger magnets. The ones from Dollar Tree aren't the strongest so I would really recommend that you use stronger magnets for this. But I've had the plants in there for a few days and they have held up great but I'm just worried about the longevity of it. So I would definitely recommend some stronger magnets for that project. And as for the wooden planter, I really wish that I found a different plant pot to do this because it got a little bit more difficult since the shape was bigger on top and then smaller at the bottom. So if I were to do it again, I would definitely choose a pot that is just straight up and down. But what I'm really excited about is that technique about taking the reeds and then just putting them into water and then forming it into whatever shape that you want it to be. I'm really wondering if I can make a rattan mirror out of that. So if you guys would like to see a video on that, let me know in the comments down below and I I will be happy to make that. Before I close out this video, I want to show you guys some of your recreations on the screen. I think they are all so awesome. So if you do recreate any of my projects, be sure to tag me on Instagram so I can like and comment and just share with everyone your beautiful work. Give this video a big thumbs up if you liked it. Subscribe for new videos every single week. And that is it for today's video, guys. Stay inspired and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!